Hi everyone. Today I'll be making a snack and I'll be making java nuts. What all goes into the java nuts? 3 fourths cup sugar, 1 half teaspoon ground cinnamon, 1 fourth teaspoon kosher salt, 1 egg white, 2 tablespoons instant espresso granules. I couldn't find any granules, so I have the powder. And four cups walnut halves. And I didn't find any that had just halves. I've got halves and pieces, so that'll have to do. So let's begin. Preheat your oven to 325. Take a large baking pan and coat it with cooking spray. In a medium-sized bowl, combine your 3 fourths cup sugar, your 1 half teaspoon of cinnamon, and your 1 fourth teaspoon of kosher salt. And mix that until thoroughly combined. So take a large bowl, dump in your egg white, and your 2 tablespoons of espresso granules and I was just reading the bottle and it says for baking go with teaspoons or they're going to taste too much like coffee. Since this doesn't have any chocolate in it I'm guessing they want tablespoons just like espresso. I don't know the difference between the strength of granules or powder so I'm going with what the recipe says. The two tablespoons are the instant espresso. Wish me luck on that because I have no idea. Dave and I, neither one of us like coffee, so I ho I'm hoping it's not real strong. Beat that until it's frothy and it is mixed in. But I'm going to scrape the sides down. It does smell like espresso or coffee or something, but we'll be adding sugar and stuff too, so maybe it won't be so bad. It is frothy. All right, so take your four cups of walnuts and put it into the coffee mixture and fold that in until completely covered. So take your sugar mixture and sprinkle that in until evenly coated. I'm not doing it all at once because otherwise the, only the top ones are going to get coated. Okay, we'll dump the rest of it in and stir that until evenly coated. All right, so dump your walnuts on the baking tray. Take your clean hands and spread them out. So take your java nuts, put them in a preheated 325 degree oven and bake them for five minutes. So after five minutes, take them out of the oven and stir them. And spread them out again. All right, put them back into the 325 degree oven for another five minutes or until they're dry to the touch. So after 12 minutes all together, they are done. You want to make sure that they are not stuck to the pan. So just go along and unstick them. Not too bad. There's a couple of them that are stuck. They do smell like coffee. If they taste too much like coffee, next time I will not use as much espresso powder. But we'll let these cool completely and then we'll put them in an airtight container 
and then Dave, when he gets home, will do a taste test. So here are the java nuts. Let's see what Dave thinks. This looks like some kind of fri fried. Oh, it smells like coffee. They're java nuts. Java nuts, okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. It tastes like I can taste coffee and I taste I think cinnamon. You'd be correct. And is that a pecan in there? Walnut. Walnut. Do you think the coffee taste is a little bit too strong? Or do you think it's okay? Well, I'm not a coffee drinker. If I was a coffee drinker, I would say probably this is just about right. For me, the, the coffee flavor is a little strong. Well, I had to use espresso powder instead of granules, and I wasn't sure how much to add of the powder, thinking that I probably should have used less. Well, I don't hate it or anything, but like I said, I'm not a coffee drinker, so for anybody that is a coffee drinker, I think they're going to like these a lot. For me, don't hate them, and in a way, I kind of like them, but the coffee flavor is just a smidge strong for me. But I think I could snack on these. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.